That has to be what I call a social hand grenade, Dan Lawton. Okay. Um, he seems to have absolutely no inhibitions when, when he is out. Um, okay. I call him the wasp because he's just hanging around annoying everyone. Oh, this is probably the best answer. Okay. I think Nort's kind of ticks both those boxes at yeah. once. <laughs> we refer okay. to him as the, how, how do you call it? It's just the, the best, best worst answer yeah. in the world. Can so you do a little tree. demonstration for me? <laughs> James Rodwell from his dance is a terrible one. It's just, there's no way to describe it. Okay. Both his feet are left. Best dancer, I'll have to say, Mar Marcus Watson. You know, okay. He throws out the old Chris Brown moves pretty well. Okay. Um, aside from that, probably Sam Edgley with his ability to rush and dance like a small dwarf. It's oh, really? pretty impressive. Isn't it? I'd say it'd be a massive dance off between Christian Lewis Pratt, Marcus Watson, Tom Mitchell, Dan Bibby, uh, myself. <laughs> Uh, Dan Norton, Christian. It's got the Christian Lewis Pratt up there for the okay. best dressed. He, probably, he definitely sort of leads leads from the front in terms of fashion. I say I'd like to give a funny answer here, but I can't over overlook Damu Damu as just being the okay. king of sevens for me. He, okay. He could sidestep someone in a phone box. He was brilliant. I would um, say Marcus Watson in terms of a physical talent, he's probably got the best feet out of anyone I've mm, played I with. Say Matt Turner. Okay. Um, whenever he wants to, he's uh, pretty world class and pretty and stuff all the time. Edge. So Edge, Edge yeah. does like okay. a long, uh, a long change. He he enjoys the, um, the nakedness of everybody else as well. So okay. he's open to that. There's a few. There's a few very very vain boys. Mm -hmm. I do think probably Christian Lewis Pratt would take the time. Partly because he doesn't have to just put his trousers on. He then has to roll them up four times as well. Easy. Tom Mitchell, housewife okay. favourite. Yeah, take him to your mother, she'll love him. Take him to your wife, she'd probably, you know, dump you. Tom Mitchell. Oh, yeah. he's, nice, he's a well educated, well brought up chap, and I uh, think he'd, uh, he'd, he'd impress, impress Mr. and Mrs. Crack on her end. Because the fact I spend a lot of time with him and, and he's a Yorkshireman and a bit powerly, so oh, okay. I wouldn't have to get too far to see him either, because yeah. that's a you know, it's a long way to drive some of these guys down in London, and petrol's expensive, isn't it? I'd say majority of the squad. Okay. They're all a great bunch, great bunch of lads. Um, there's a few, a few of us living in a close area of, of London now, so it's yeah. kind of all in close proximity. And uh, I, ho I hope and like to think that ten years on, we'll all still be mates.